AFC Ajax are notably the backyard of the globally recognized home of Total Football. Rhinus Michel's vision of Total Football changed Dutch football forever. Later, the concept was broadened by Johan Cruyff, who took the elegance of the system and style to FC Barcelona. Time is an indomitable force that weakens even the strongest, and only a few can withstand its barrage. But thanks to Louis van Gaal's foresight, Total Football lives on in the DNA of AFC Ajax, surpassing time itself. Van Hal was the assistant to Lee Bean Hacker and replaced him as the manager of Ajax in 1991. The start was a sour one for Louis, with both fans and one of the biggest media outlets in Netherlands, The Telegraph, branding him as arrogant. Van Hal cared less about that and led the club into a new era. He made changes to the academy and appointed various experts from different sporting fields such as former basketball player Laszlo Jambor and physiologist Joe Geisel who used to train hockey players. The training became methodical and analysis oriented for the best result. It was groundbreaking as far as football was concerned. Van Hal set up three-man units to complete training drills for more power, stamina, athleticism, reflexes, footwork and teamwork. The players were drilled in short runnings and pattern play with chips on their chests to record the heart rates for later studies. There would be coordination training, speed training to enhance the ability of a player as an individual as well as during team play. Van Hal called for teamwork more than anything. Be selfless or see yourself out was the message. Van Hal didn't hesitate to sell fan favorites and superstars if they had disagreed to follow his philosophy. He promoted young academy prospects who would trust his methods completely. The way Louis Van Hal used technology, scout system and trainers to find players who would suit his system was truly amazing. One of the ways they used to find players was called tips. It was based on four parameters, technical ability, insight or football intelligence, personality and speed. The young academy graduates were also keen to prove themselves and grabbed this opportunity to learn in the Van Hal way. It made them physically supreme and put them a step ahead of the first team youngsters of the opposition teams. Van Hal kept the philosophy of total football but added more predetermined movements, responses and methodologies. Soon it all started to reflect on the pitch as Ajax won the UEFA Cup in 1991-92 followed by three consecutive Eredivisie titles. They went on an unbeaten streak of 52 league matches and 19 Champions League games between 1994 and 1995, the pinnacle of Ajax and a feat of invincibility still unmatched. Before we proceed any further into the matter, here is a question for you. In the 1994-95 season, Ajax just lost one match in the whole season. Who was it against? Let us know your answer in the comment section down below. On the tactical side, Ajax played in a 3-3-1-3 formation. Edwin van der Sar was the keeper with Danny Blind in the center, flanked by Frank de Boer and Michael Reisiger. Frank Rijkaard played as the brain of the team and orchestrated the play from deep. The supreme tenacity and stamina of Edgar Davids and Clarence Seydorf enabled them to run up and down all the time and their versatility helped to fill voids, making the total football complete. Harry Litmanen was the creative focus of the team, playing behind the front three of Finity George, Patrick Loivert and Mark Overmars. The vigor of youth in a side that averaged the age of only 23, it was a masterstroke. Each player knew what to do and when to do it. The rise of Dennis Bergkamp, Clarence Seedorf, De Boer brothers, Van der Sar, Edgar Davids, Mark Overmars and Patrick Loivert were significant chapters written by Louis van Hal in the evergreen pages of Ajax. In the 1994-95 Eredivisie season, they won 27 games and drew 7, scoring 106 goals in the process and conceding only 28. In the Champions League, it was also of the same pattern with Ajax winning 7 games and drawing 4. They conceded only 4 goals throughout that competition and scored 18. On the fateful night of May 24, 1995, Ajax faced the defending champions and a stellar Milan side consisting of Franco Baresi, Paolo Maldini, Marcel De Sely, Moro Tassotti, Ruud Kulit, Marco Van Basten and many more in Vienna. Despite Ajax's brilliant run to the final, no one fancied them to win over that overwhelming Milan side. But six minutes before the final whistle, Clivert put Ajax ahead, scoring the only goal of the game. Ajax clinched the Champions League and gave rise to one of the best underdog stories ever. This Ajax side ushered a new era of sport and it was more science-oriented than raw talent. From the planning to the preparation, Louis van Gaal showed the world the importance of systematic thinking behind success in football. That's all for this episode, hope you liked it and we wish to see you again. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out on all the upcoming videos we are about to share with you. If you have any suggestion for us, feel free to share it in the comment section. Until next time, it's goodbye from Armband.